for that. And then we got this thing called text messaging when we went to, uh, and, uh, to CDMA and deployed it. So that's when we started to see really the devices evolve into messaging devices. And to this day, that's still a large category of the product that's sold everywhere around the world. Well, after that, and starting about, I'm going to say four years ago, five years ago, uh, we saw devices start to become more entertainment ori oriented. So graduating out of being messaging only devices and into more entertainment. So it's when we saw the camera come into the phone. It's when we saw color screens start to come into the phone, video capability, the ability to play back music. So we started to see this consumer electronics functionality coming to the phone. And then finally where we sit today with, uh, again, smartphones finally delivering on the promise that we always knew would be there. Now, I think we got to the right combination of pricing on the devices and a compelling network connection that existed and the right applications on the device that's caused this wave of uh, adoption for smartphones. And so what's interesting, though, is all of these phenomena still exist around the world today. There are markets still going through their evolution on the way to getting to smartphones. Right? I was just in Latin America. I was talking before. I think it was last week, based on my uh, body clock. We were, we were in Argentina and uh, Chile. And we're even seeing you know, the growth in smartphones uh, beginning there. But every market around the world has tended to go through this evolution. And some are at different places. They're not fully up to uh, all smartphones. But they fall somewhere on this continuum. So I wanted to talk just for a minute about our business model and, and the role that I see it playing in, in this ecosystem around the world. You know, I love to tell the story about the founding of Qualcomm. I obviously wasn't here, but I was on the other side as a, kind of a customer of a customer. Right? I was at an operator, and we indirectly uh, were a customer for Qualcomm based on the handsets we bought. But the business model has been certainly a topic of discussion over the years, but I like to kind of rewind time and remind people what was happening at the time Qualcomm came about. We just celebrated our, our 25th anniversary. So you think about the fact that the, the original founders had this idea and that they thought they could really dramatically change and revolutionize the wireless world. But the industry had clearly begun down another path, right? It's when we were moving from analog into TDMA. And so not only had the industry really put its full force behind going to you know, a time division based technology, but some pretty unkind things were said early on about Qualcomm and its founders. You know, were we selling vaporware? Would it ever work? Um, you think about the, the time that was in as well during the, the financial bubble. Um, but really important piece of context, because 